Kamruk Yonyo district in the northern region of Ghana is home to the Gambagas Cap, a beautiful tourism attraction with potentials for paragliding. It is also home to a beautiful waterfall and the guest house of the first president of Ghana, Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The area has a climate relatively cool and moist, allowing for the cultivation of grains, yams and livestock. Nakpanulis is on the highest point of the Gambagas Cup. And somewhere in 1958, the then uh, Prime Minister of Ghana, Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, came and planted uh, a flag at the highest point of the scarp. And later that year, in 1958, he came and started the rest house. Then he, he finished building it in, 19, uh, in 1962 and was to, supposed to stay there from Kulungugu. It was a, a rest stop from uh, uh, when they bumped him at Kulungugu on the 2nd of um, August. August 1962. He was supposed to come here and then uh, sleep there and then interact with the people around this place. So Nakpanduri Guest House has been that old since 1958. And uh, the tourism potential that we have there is quite immense. In the district, for instance, we don't have a place where people go there to, uh, to ease off the tensions of the day and all those things. You see, when we have meetings in Bunkrugu or meetings in Nakpanduri, say if there is a very nice hotel there where people can go and then relax and also sleep overnight, it will help us a lot. You have seen the waterfalls, we can further polish it up for people to come over there in the evenings and rest and then uh, have a look at nature. It was during the 56 that uh, the road uh, started and we met this uh, waterfalls and it has been a tourist center. People from Germany all over the world, they come here that they are coming to Nakpanduri Cup. Like uh, you having a wedding, picnic, you come here to observe the place. And there was like uh, something like a sea breeze. It was nice. The whole area was green. Naturally, the wise enjoyed coming here. In the rainy season, you see water falling. And people even come to sit down, take pictures of the, uh, the, the, the scalp. If there could be, be a way of re-innovating the place to put some structures like uh, maybe like uh, you get to Tema uh, Beach area, you put some structures, make some bars for people when they come this way to do, to see, they will sit down to relax there. Just like uh, they are saying the Eastern Corridor. Uh, the Eastern Corridor Road coming. When it comes, I think this thing will develop more. If we could get investors, referring to private investors, uh, that will come to our aid for us to go into a kind of private uh, public partnership to develop the potentials to the a level that can attract tourists to the area. We also have the highest point, as I said, on the, of the scarp. We can glide, I don't know how, to, how we call it. What tourism can come over around maybe Christmas or Easter, and then they will come and then they will parachute down the scarp, and it will be such a nice place for people to see. But there's another spot where, uh, during the slave trade, people could go there and take shelter. When the slave raiders were coming, they will just, the community will just go there and then it's a small hole. But when you get inside, it is like a village. If uh, private individuals can come from elsewhere, if investors can come from elsewhere, look at the place and then uh, ship it to the taste of a uh, uh, tourist attraction, it will be fantastic. I will wholeheartedly welcome it. Each community um, and its leaders, be it traditional, cultural, political leaders, or leadership, 
need to come together and think through how they promote what they have for themselves. Because ultimately, they are the first beneficiaries of that resource before it will trickle down to the rest of us. With the coming of tourism, will come alongside uh, other structures that will serve our schools and clinics for people to attend. We have that the interventions that I think can come that will provide employment opportunities for the steaming youth over here who run to the staff to look for other uh, jobs to do. Also, if uh, the, the, the white volta, the, 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 the tributary of the white volta, if let's say we could uh, put a, 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 a dump there, it can provide a lot of uh, employment opportunities for the youth in the area of agriculture. Irrigation, they can do dry season farming, and that will help us a lot. You can't expect the, the ministry to do all of, of, all of the things that uh, we're talking about. I think private sector um, needs to perhaps be more accessible and, and take advantage of what is available. We are not looking at business opportunities through the activities that we have. We, we don't do that. We, do, we, we see them only as entertainment. And so we go to experience it and walk away without seeing what business opportunities are in there for me. We know the government is doing well. The government cannot devour the whole country at a, at a go. But when uh, they begin to put these things in place, these tourism attracts, uh, 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 tourism centers, if they are developed, somehow they'll be spreading the national cake gradually to cover the rest of the uh, downtrodden districts like the Bunkuguyu district. If each of us at every festival managed to organize 10, 15 people in our social circle to come along to our communities and not be ashamed of what we have in our communities, even when you don't have anything yourself. There's something, there's a natural resource there that you must want to show off. Because I don't have that in my community. Can you imagine what that will do, the ripple effect of, of, of that? It has got all that it takes to make sure that tourists actually come, especially those who are very much interested and fascinated about paragliding to come there and actually paraglide and also look at a very beautiful scene. Because from that scap, you can actually look into Boko and even look at it, see the lights and several other things. I think that place actually needs a lot of development, especially now that job creation is one of the key issues that were being confronted by within the Southern Zone and for that matter, the country. Many youth did actually express the view that if that place is actually developed further, they would actually enter into developing the creative industry, especially the smokes and the crafts, so that they can actually sell that to tourists. It would be an income generating venture for many of the youth. The waterfalls, though it's dry, will also be rehabilitated to add to that uh, very wonderful view that we actually have. Our focus will be on making sure we're able to put the infrastructure and the standards behind investing in the tourism sector to create the right sort of experience for the tourism community as it looks at the opportunities to invest in, in that sector in the region. This is one area I think the government can uh, come to our aid or development partners can come to our aid to also provide some smile on the faces of the youth so they can also get something to feed their families and we can also get something to pay our school children their school fees and to make life a bit bearable.